In the late 19th century and into the early 20th century, the San Fernando Valley was mainly involved in agricultural farming. Then, in 1922, a land developer by the name of Victor Girard purchased 2,886 acres of land in the southwest corner of the San Fernando Valley. This land was divided into 6,828 lots over an area of four and a half square miles. This real estate would include the land from Ventura Boulevard to Mulholland Drive and from San Feliciano Drive to Serenia Avenue. This 1924 photo shows Gerard on the left surveying the scene of his town and the vast land development named after him, the town of Gerard. Many of the homes built in this development had a prevalent Moorish theme as shown in this photo. Gerard wanted a new style of homes instead of the mission style of home so prevalent in the 1920s. For $1,625, you could buy a four-room Moorish-themed house in Girard. However, the most common pick was a small cabin that sold for $985. In the 1920s, it was very popular to have a home in a country setting like Girard. There was another similar land development around the same time as Girard named Twin Lakes Park, located above what is today the 118 Freeway and Topanga Canyon Boulevard in Chatsworth, California. I made a video on this a year ago entitled, Mystery of the Old Abandoned Road Revealed. Twin Lakes Park had a Mayan Aztec theme, whereas Girard had a Moorish theme. Themed country residences were in vogue in the 1920s. This arch was located on Santa Susana Pass Road, just west of Topanga Canyon Boulevard. It was torn down years ago. Here is a photo of the Moorish-style buildings that Gerard built at the intersection of Ventura Boulevard and Topanga Canyon Boulevard. These buildings created the image that the town of Girard had a thriving business center, but many of the shops were vacant or did not have finished interiors. Girard was a visionary with great ambition. Unfortunately, many of the homes that Victor Girard built lacked quality in their construction, and questionable sales tactics were employed to spur sales. By 1941, the town of Girard had its own chamber of commerce, and they renamed the town Woodland Hills. Girard had planted 120,000 eucalyptus, pepper, and other shade trees throughout the area of Girard, so Woodland Hills was a fitting name. Hello, everybody. I recently made a video on the parcel of land that was once owned by Jack Ingram. And Jack Ingram had a movie set and ranch located on the acreage that is now south of the intersection of Mulholland Highway and Mulholland Drive here in Woodland Hills. And in that video, I mentioned that there was hardly anything out here back then or any houses. But there were houses out here. There was a scattering of houses built from 90 to 100 years ago. And I'm on the street Independencia, and I'm here at 22034 Independencia. And this is one of the original houses built by Victor Girard. This house was built in 1927. Now this is a single story home. And if I go over to the side of the house, you can see the roof line. I'm not sure how well it'll come in, but right up here, you can see that it was a flat roof. And this frontage area right here 
was an almost for sure an add-on uh, that's either a cathedral ceiling or an attic area and then to the left of that you have this this um, bell tower kind of mission style bell tower that was added and they have a gable roof on top of that addition in the front this house is very well maintained and it's one of the original Girard homes built in this area. So this is the house that was lived in by Victor Girard, if our information is correct. This is 22106 Buenaventura. And the house has been maintained very nicely, but that was built in 1929 originally. I'm guessing it was only a single story back then and because in 1953 they did some kind of major renovations or improvements to the house so they might have at that time put on the second story I don't know directly across the street from this house is 22017 Buena Ventura. And this house is even older. This was built originally in 1923, 100 years ago. You can see the, the kind of construction here. This kind of uh, post there. And it's a very uh, shallow roof. It's not completely flat, but it's a very interesting style, the way the front looks on this house with, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten windows across the front. And this is a brick frontage. But this house was originally built 100 years ago. Here at 22030 Sellis Street is one of the original Girard homes. This was built 100 years ago in 1923. It's a beautiful single story home. The arrow points to this very house in this 1924 photo of the town of Girard. Right now I'm traveling westbound on Dumetz Road and I'm turning left into the Woodland Hills Country Club. This was originally built by Victor Girard in 1925, and it was known as the Girard Country Club. Then in 1941, when the Chamber of Commerce of Girard decided to change the name of the city to Woodland Hills, it became the Woodland Hills Country Club. This is non-member parking here, or event parking. And this, this is the clubhouse building here. And this is the main entrance. And this parking up here is reserved for club members.